G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Ranger Sequoia. This thing right here is just basically a uh, unique hunting revolver without the scope, and it's got some sort of cool sort of things going along with its decal there. So yeah, there we go. For honor and service, and I'm pretty sure the other side says um, against tyrants. And we're straight into the death claw killing. So we've got this thing loaded with the hand uh, load rounds, which um, deal 20% more damage and uh, give us a bonus against um, damage threshold. There's the terminology there. I almost forgot what I was talking about here. And yeah, we'll be dealing just like another six damage to them, which is pretty good. But death claws have high damage threshold, so it's probably a good idea to um, use the most powerful rounds we can. Although it does take a toll on the weapon's position as it will um, degrade three times more when firing these runs than firing the uh, standard shots, which is kind of cool. Um, it's nice and realistic and it's a good drawback. If you want to use this weapon to its best effect and want to use these rounds, be sure to uh, keep any of those weapon re ki repair kits handy. Anyway, we'll go ahead and kill this uh, death door here. And having the five rounds in the mag, uh, it's not going to help you a lot if you're not critting them. Which is all RNG based, there's no VAT spam bullshittery with the crits in this game, because it's a little bit harder than that. Although I kind of like that system in Fallout 4 and hope it kind of comes back. But anyways, we'll just uh, take down these death claws here. I'd like to point out the animation for firing this thing. Oh, they can actually get me up here. Oh, these death claws have uh, learned good passing while I've been away from the Mojave apparently. And finally getting into bats there after that lengthy reload. Um, you don't normally hold this thing in one hand, but I've got a reanimation mod that makes you hold pistols in one hand. And it makes you feel more like a desert ranger holding this in one hand or some shit like that. I like it better because animations are cool. Anyway, we'll go ahead and shoot the bats. Nice critical there. And unfortunately, we have to wait until we actually bloody reload the thing to see any... Um, uh, the VATs come up, which is something they changed in Fallout 4 because, yeah, you can pretty much activate VATs any time and you can exploit that to have a super quick reload, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Um, at range, we've got him dialed into our sights there and we didn't see him to hit him once, which was strange, although it is hard to tell sometimes because generally NPCs don't really react when you shoot them. I guess it's um, up to the health bar to whether uh, see whether or not you actually hit him. But in terms of damage, this thing isn't actually doing too well at all. I think this thing is just a novelty weapon, and before he winds up for his big death slash, I'll just shoot him in the face and knock off all his limbs. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'd probably almost want to recommend a, a hunting revolver over this simply because the scope allows you to reach out a bit further with your targets but again you'll be doing less damage so unless you're getting the criticals going a lot yeah this thing isn't all that great so i'm not convinced by it so far but it's definitely an iconic weapon and the way you can pick it up is off that guy who sits down in that chair on the ncr but also it, it spawns on ranges at level 16. now that level 16 is an important number because it gives you an idea of um, how this weapon is balanced and what sort of damage you can expect it to do. Obviously, uh, spawning at level 16, that's early on in the game, so that indicates to me that this thing really isn't an endgame weapon, which is a shame because, yeah, again, it just turns it into a novelty weapon, which is less than ideal. We'll make a mad dash for this rock now where they can't reach us. I can hear them stomping around. And we're up here, that's fine. And we don't have a lot of AP there because we did sprint up to it, but um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll kill you if you're standing still. Hopefully we're getting headshots on you. I think we hit him once or twice, which is good. Quickly try to get him. I feel like I should be hitting these guys a lot more frequently than I am. I mean, the sights are right on them, and I understand that weapon spread in New Vegas is just 10 times what it is in 4, but bloody hell. There we go. Killed one there, and looks like the death claws are all conga lining over there, which is funny. They usually go over in that direction, so we might have to just uh, jump down here a little bit and try to bait a few out. Their weapon condition is sitting at half now, so that, yeah, the uh, hand load rounds are actually really um, degrading this weapon fast. And I think I just got a sneak attack, so um, yeah, death claws, not exactly on the ball like they are in 4. 
I'm pretty sure they'd be hunting me down very much so by now, but they are, so we'll just jump up on this rock and cheaply shoot away at the death cause, hoping to score some random critical hits. If I was playing Fallout 4, I'd be bloody quick spamming the hell out of these death cores because really, you can't do much damage in that. I don't even think I'm hitting them over that. So again, we'll have to sort of bait them out this way. Oh, that's the mother. That's the mother. Don't want to deal with her. Okay. At times like these, I wish I had nerd rage and slow motion like in Fallout 4, but uh, we got a crit there, which was nice. If we could just retreat up here. I think mummy is stuck. Oh, she's turning around. Oh, you're not getting away from me. Do I have another shot on you? Yep, you're dead. You have to be dead from that. Oh, not. Okay, that's fine. We'll see if we can just have a pot shot of you. Man, you're bloody quick. You saying Bolt would have a fun time racing you around. We just get one more hit on you and you'd be dead. My Stormtroop Ram is not very kind to me today. But we've almost taken out that mother, which is good. Now, this is what I don't like about this weapon. Yep, this thing isn't very strong, and I'm going to have to play this by war of attrition with these death claws, which is less than ideal, because it's probably boring for the viewer to watch me sort of sit around taking pot shots at these death claws like this. Although the alternative is getting is jumping down and just getting crushed as soon as I land, so um, I guess you have to uh, take what you can get from that. And there we go, we've got a little bit added on to the reload now because the weapon is breaking under all the stress of the hand load rounds. We might as well pop a few weapon repair kits because we are losing out on damage on that, obviously. Alright, back up to full strength now and we'll try to get a more of a shot. Looks like they're all packed in there, so I'm just firing here, hoping for a hit. We got a crit on the alpha male, which is good. So that's good another crit on that death claw somewhere so with this as they're all sort of bunched around even though the weapon spread isn't exactly perfect we can pretty much guarantee a hit generally in the area where we're shooting which is just cheap and yep but uh this is what happens when you get only have to, uh, only get to a short amount of time to actually program the game i imagine this place was probably like knocked over in a couple of hours so yeah not one of the uh, more known about places in this game, and or maybe it is, I'm not sure. I'm not too fucked with my new Vegas knowledge, really. But I do enjoy the game all the same. Oh, good. Okay. I think we're a little bit screwed, but we're gonna try anyway. It's probably a good idea to pop some Psycho at this point. We managed to escape the mother again. Stand right there, mum. I'll get ya. I'll bloody get you now. Oh, a cinematic shot now, and with a sort of half backflip, the mother dies. I cannot believe I've been hit twice by those death claw mothers and survived. Thank God for um, those auto inject stim packs, otherwise, I would have been in the bloody pit boy every 10 seconds, bloody jamming them in my veins or something. Alright, so we don't have a very good shot at you, we'll just take these manual shots, and yeah, the recoil on this weapon sort of pushes it up a bit, makes it sort of hard to aim with those follow-up shots, going into third person helps that out, because you've got no sort of jumping on the camera as you fire, so you're safe to just keep your weapon sort of fixed on the one location where you desire to aim, which is good, that one's crippled. He is dead now. We'll make a mad dash for up here. Hopefully the death claws can't really make it up there. And what have we got left? Just a couple of basic death claws, including a couple of young ones, so that's good. Wait though, no, that's the alpha male on the rock there. Do I have a good shot on you? Apparently I do. We'll take those shots there. And with a critical hit, he is dead. I'll get rid of the rest of these death claws. One of these is only a young one, so I'm not too um, scared about you, mate. And I can take the odd batter from these regular death claws, so yeah, we'll run up and kill him. And after all that, that's all the death claws at Death Claw Promontory cleared, and uh, yeah, this thing is obviously a low tier weapon, definitely not meant to take on all of these death claws, so yeah, I'm not really impressed with this weapon. I'm yeah, I'm I'm sure this thing is a novelty weapon, so uh, it's an interesting one. For honourable service and not killing death claws, apparently. Okay, so normally I'd like to move on to a monster now, and I'll probably do that, but let's keep the monsters tame this time and take out Linus or whatever the hell his name is. I think that'll suit this thing. 
Okay, so I've spawned Legget Lanius over there, but I accidentally spawned the wrong one first, so there's a friendly one that is very flimsy, but that's the real deal over there. So we'll go ahead and shoot that Roman bastard, and hopefully we can make this thing actually work well. So, let's see what we can do with that sneak attack critical going up first. Then we shot the wrong one, but he doesn't care. And we missed, we missed again, we missed again, we missed again. He's walking towards us. Okay, now he sees us. Now he's running. Okay, but luckily for us, he's not as strong as a death claw, so we can just sort of go away and walk away slowly as he's going up to us. And he looks cool. He's like the only legionary that I lacked. I fucking hate Caesar's legion. I hope they all die, but uh, yeah, Legate Lenius is kind of like Darth Vader, and then you've got the Emperor who is like, um, Oh, he's unconscious. Yeah, I forgot about that. He's like marked as essential, so I can't actually kill him. But that's a win in my books. Don't get out, mate. I knew what he said. That what? That I like you more than the average um, legionnaire? That's probably true. I thought he just like took a knee and sat down for a second. All right, we're gonna get rid of him. Okay, so that was the uh, Ranger Sequoia there, and. Yeah, I like this weapon about as much as I like the NCR. Yeah, it's a cool thing, cool concept, but it annoys the fuck out of me when people say this thing's the best. I think this thing is highly overrated. I wouldn't recommend using this under normal circumstances. Throw it on the wall as something cool to look at, but yeah, I'd rather take pretty much any other revolver of the 44 Magnum variety in the game there, but definitely looks cool. Thank you for watching, guys.